everybody, welcome back to the show. It is always a pleasure to see our next guest because she is a smarty pants. Absolutely, Dr. Jennifer Gardy joining us, microbiologist uh, with the BC Center for Disease Control, but she's part of a great program with Science World where they take the world of science how are you? I'm good. So what are you doing? Are you Science World in disguise? I'm with the remote Science World. Uh, <laughs> Science World does this super, super awesome thing. Uh, they've partnered with Genome BC, who's an organization I do a lot of work with, uh, to do these things called Community Science Celebrations. Nice. Science! Uh, yeah, it's basically oh, science. bringing the science uh, to communities where Science World isn't as easily accessible. Well, it's great. Relax. In this world where everyone seems to be obsessed with media and celebrity and everything else, to, to, to spark that little interest in kids yep. and show them how f not only fascinating science is, but people actually work yes, in science. You can get paid to do really cool things. And you make science fun. I and we're going to be doing I a little DNA art today. What are, well, first of all, DNA, tell us a little bit about it. DNA is basically the stuff that makes you, you. It's this chemical code, it lives inside our cells, and it's made up of four letters, uh, A, C, T, and G. And basically those four letters, there are three billion of them in every one of your cells in your body, <laughs> oh and it God. contains the entire blueprint to make you, you. you. Or make a Mike, or make a Fiona, or make a me, or make a, a possum, or a camel, and or a so red pig. Because there's so many permutations to that, I would guess that there really is no other you. No, uh, unless you're a twin. Unless then you would have the exact same DNA. So when you are a twin, you have the exact same DNA? Yep. Wow. If you're identical twins. So, so does the Sabines have the same DNA? Are so, they identical or I fraternal? I, I, I think they're identical, but doesn't this um, put the question of nature and nurture kind of to, to bed? There's right? a lot of really interesting uh, twin studies in science. Uh, it's a really great way to study how much your genetics influences yeah. particular traits. So, you know, will one twin develop? Uh, there have yeah. been some studies on mental illness, for example. Yeah. So, you know, does it run in pairs or is it highly individualized? Because what we're finding out now is that, you know, it's not just that blueprint of those three, uh, three billion letters of DNA, there's actually a whole bunch of other stuff that happens, so the environment that we're raised in yeah. actually does have a fair amount of influence on the actual chemistry yeah, of our DNA. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember reading something that your DNA can actually change throughout mm -hmm. your lifetime, and I always thought that it was something static, static. Right? No, like, it's that's a, what you're Yeah, with. we call it epigenetics, or epigenetic modification. I tell you, the crap we learn with you, yes. it's unfreaking believable. What are we going to make? Are we going to make something pretty? We're going to make a little party DNA thing, and I always bring something that Mike can eat, because I know how he is. So. Um, sorry, one of us started before the others today. I haven't had sugar since New Year's, and I'm about to go cuckoo. Okay. okay. You have a marshmallow pile in front of you for oh. when you finish that. We're so. making, uh, we're making yeah. candy DNA. We are going to make, uh, yeah, candy DNA models. So. Okay. These are our sugar phosphate backbones. Basically, you've probably heard that DNA is a double helix, mm -hmm. and so that's essentially a ladder that's been twisted around. So we're gonna make a ladder, and okay. we're gonna twist we're it. Gonna so twist it the two edges of our ladder are gonna be made out of these Twizzlers here. Okay. So you I put bet them you down. do this for parties, don't you? Like, in all honesty, when you have people over, you make things like this. No, I do puppet shows and sing badly at parties. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt uh, it. Okay, what's next? Okay. Let's take out uh, some toothpicks. We're gonna use these to build our ladder. So grab a couple. Uh -huh, <clears throat> uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then Whoops. what you can do is carefully, with adult supervision, yes. insert. Thank you for being our adult supervision. Oh, I feel so no safe. Problem. This is a PhD sanctioned activity. <laughs> so you can make your DNA as laddery as you want. Okay. You can okay. space them really close together. You can space them really far apart. And so what we're going to do now, so DNA is made up, of, like I said, those letters, the A's, the C's, the T's, and G's, mm -hmm. and those are our mini marshmallows here. Okay. So grab a few mini marshmallows once you've laddered your and DNA. I did a great job on I this. I got really retentive I with my I gotta say, boy, you really did. Okay. No, that's really quite good. I have OCD, Jennifer. We'll yeah, talk about okay. that on another episode. I have, I have the same it's issues. It's genetic. You can't, <laughs> yeah. nothing you Is can it? do. Sorry, it's, guys. You know, it's good to be anal retentive when you're a scientist. Okay, now what? Now, we have four colors in marshmallows here. We have green color marshmallow, we have a pink color, we have uh, this kind of anemic-y orange mm -hmm. thingy, <laughs> and then um, a yellow. All uh, well. colors that occur in nature. All like to give you cancer if you eat enough. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the good news yeah. part of this story. Another episode. <laughs> so um, let's just say that uh, the orange is going to be our A letter, okay. and then A always pairs with T. So let's make green T. So okay. whenever you put two marshmallows together, you always have to put an orange and a green together. Okay. And C and G. 
pair together. So okay. let's make a pink C the pink and, the, and the yellow. Anemic color? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's like an appropriate style scheme or color scheme. <laughs> who cares? But who cares? This is science. So what you want to do <laughs> is feed one color, whatever you want on. It can be any combo? It can be any color. But no, it has to be coupled with its, its, but yeah, it's, it's mates. paired, right? Little Mikey Eckford. And you just do two star. each? Yep, yeah, you put two each. So oh. here I've put a G and a C. I have put a G and a C. Yeah, and so let's do, this is an orange one, which is an A. We should all be doing this in the in the count voices. Ooh, look, this is a dual base. <laughs> oh, we got twins. The Sadines are here. They are. Does it matter how I high up or down? Did you call it a mutant? <laughs> she just ate Daniel. <laughs> Are twins mutants? I always suspect. I might it. have licked the gray cup back. I know you too. did lick the gray cup. <laughs> I wish we had a picture of that because yeah, Jennifer. It's I on mean, the internet. You know, oh, as yeah, a scientist, perfect. you should know because we've done. A microbiologist, for goodness' sake. The gray cup has seen things that cannot be unseen. But it's also been doused in so much alcohol. Oh, that, that's true. You know what? That it should oh, feel most of it. So, okay. am I still supposed to be doing like the same color combos? You always want to have them pair it together. So. Okay. the uh, orange and green, our A's and T's, are always going to be paired. They're little friends. Every once in a while, some weird stuff happens in biology, though. You get a mutation. So you know what? If you want to make a mutation, and mutations you go can for both it. be bad, and sometimes one. they move the genetic yeah, line further, right? Exactly. That's how evolution works. So oh. I think I have arise. some evolution happening here. Yeah, I'm green evolving towards orange. a higher state. Okay, now how do we twist here? this ladder? What you do is once you've so fixed your, that's because you made so many ladder bits, but yeah. it's okay, it's your percent. Nice. So what we're gonna do, we'll fix our other sugar phosphate backbone on. Okay. Which in oh, this case is I see. a sugar red dye backbone. <laughs> so now we have something that actually kind of looks like a ladder. I don't, but I'll catch up. Wow, you, you really it. are uh, S-L-O-W, man. Well, Fiona's looks really nice. Yours looks really nice too. Oh, Mine actually, Mike did a great job. Looks like a monkey did it. Incidentally, we share 99.9% <laughs> of our DNA with no, right. monkeys. We're actually Kay. pretty similar. So once you've made that, you're just going to grab one end in both hands mm -hmm. and just give it a twist. And that is the double <gasps> helix shape. Of DNA, DNA. Candy. Yeah. Look at this. Look at that. Cool. Now, if you're being really enterprising, you could take some uh, toothpicks, stick them in the end, and kind of, I don't know, fix this into a shoebox and have a permanently coiled model of DNA. Or you could <laughs> spray it with shellac and give it as Christmas gifts. But exactly. Christmas gifts that you you can eat. hand it out to um, Are we allowed to talk about uh, your TV show? Because, of course, you did a special with The Nature of Things not oh, too yeah. long ago, which we was absolutely fun. Which was amazing. Yeah. And got great ratings. It did, and you can watch it online at the Nature of Things website. Are you going to do uh, more? I think we are going to do more. So I BC think you really should. liked it, and uh, they're seeing if their budget Gosh. has room for flying me around maybe, and maybe, doing crazy yeah. experiments. Maybe you <laughs> share DNA in. with David Suzuki. Maybe, yeah. Maybe sure that's do. what it is. Mine is just not good, I Jennifer. need his uh, awesome hair DNA, though. Yeah, you do. Because, you know, mine's a little uncurly. If only there were a way for human beings to share DNA. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Well, we'll cover that next time, Jennifer. Here. Thank you, Jennifer. A pleasure. My Thank pleasure. You. And uh, <laughs> Science World us. is presenting The Alphabet in You with Jennifer Garney. Okay. It is happening Saturday, this Saturday at the Evergreen Hall in Chilliwack. And for more information, I just, I don't know, if, I don't know. You can go to the website scienceworld.ca. I have a double helix. You're an awesome double helix. Can I be a, do viruses eat your DNA? Everything eats your Everything DNA. Everything eats your DNA.